and we know that that's at a premium. What about a mini food processor that allows you to be able to make your quick, fast, easy salad dressings or to be able to chop garlic really quickly or kind of dice an onion really quickly um, when you need to? We're going to be offering this to you in three great colors, so I want to go over those for you really quickly. So in the front, we've got our red. Uh, to my right, we have it available for you in the black. And then your third choice is going to be in a silver. And we're calling this one stone gray, all right? So stone gray, black or red, special feature price at $49.95 or just $10 to get these at home. So chef, I'm going to toss things over to you because this is small, but it's a powerful mini processor. I feel like something like this is a must have um, for every home because it allows you to be able to add those fresh ingredients to your meals and everything just tastes so much better. It does, Marla, and you know, we love food processors, especially in professional kitchens, we use them all the time. But guess what? We cook for 150 people a night. When you're at home, you're cooking for one, two, four, six. This is the perfect size. Two cup capacity, by the way. I've thrown in tomatoes, I've got some onions, I'm putting in some cilantro. You can stack it in high, by the way, some chipotle, some chili pepper. And look at that, it's all bouncing out of the top, but watch what I do. I pop my lid on, and in a few seconds, Marlo, and I mean it, what was that, three seconds? You've got perfect salsa. So have a look at the pico de gallo that I've just made. So you can Ooh. think and imagine all of the wonderful fresh ingredients you'll be using for summer. Guacamole, I've thrown in some avocados. Again, I need a bunch of cilantro. I want a little lime juice. I want another chili pepper. Go ahead, drop your lid on. Now, if you want it coarse, two seconds. If you want it perfectly pureed, five seconds. I, I like my guacamole to still have a little bit of bite to it, so maybe three or four seconds, and that's about it. You can pulse, you can put it on one, you can put it on two. Go ahead, remove your blade, and then you just go straight on in here, Marlo, and look at this. Look at how perfectly smooth this is. Now, if you wanted it a little um, chunkier, then just give it a couple of seconds because it's very, very powerful. Don't be uh, mistaken for small being wimpy. This is small and mighty. <laughs> now I've put the grating attachment. By the way, there's a slicing attachment as well. Watch how quickly I can grate cheese. You know, hard cheese too, like this manchego. Even parmesan you can go ahead and slice. And because Marlo, it's, it's going straight out the side here, you can see it right there, you're only limited by the size of your bowl. I call it the endless food chute because I can literally grate an absolute mountain of freshly grated cheese, freshly grated veggies. Look at all of that beautiful cheese. Oh my cheese. gosh, that's and yes, awesome. My stainless steel bowls, Marlo, with a suction cup uh, base with lid are in stock as well. So for all of your grating of the veggies and the, um, the cheeses, what about shopping? Who likes chopping onions? <laughs> I didn't see any hands go up. Here's why, <laughs> because it makes you cry. Mala, you put your onions in here, and if you want them finely diced, you put it on for two seconds, and you can see it finely diced right there. Oh my gosh, look at how fast want, that is. is it, isn't that so cool? If you want to mince, I mean, even something like carrots, watch how quickly I can do it. I put my lid on. I give it, let's give it five seconds if you want it super fine. And then we go ahead and I show it to you there. So all of your chopping, all of the vegetables that you'll be doing um, over the summer, over the fall, you know, whether you're making soups and stews or chilies, none of us, we all like to cook, but none of us like to um, do the prep, do we? So I'm going to throw some celery in. And Marlo, also... Think about the rices, you know, the cauliflower rice, the broccoli rice that we're all buying from the grocery store these days. You know, you can now make your own. And by the way, no preservatives, yeah. no nonsense in any of the food. And that's um, a big, a big change. So I'll throw my cauliflower in and then I'll be quiet, Marla. I'll let you tell everyone how, how they get it home and show them all of the different attachments. No, I agree. I, I look at you make that cauliflower rice, right? Which most of us have made the switch to that. And we pay a premium at the stores. And even if you're buying the frozen, they do still have to add some preservatives. So I think one of the things that's right. important to talk about with the food processor and why we love it is that you're making it fresh. Everything is fresh. Look, I get it, right? You want to have guacamole and you want to have salsa or you want to make your own homemade peanut butter or even hummus. Yeah, it is convenient to buy at the supermarket, but you've got to admit it doesn't taste as good. 
It doesn't taste as good like homemade when you can add those ingredients to your liking. Maybe you want a little bit more heat or maybe you want a little bit more cilantro or a little bit more lemon or a little bit more lime. You're in complete control of your ingredients. It's the perfect size. By the way, the bowl here is a two cup bowl. You've got the blade that comes along with it. You've got the shredding blade that comes along with it. You've got the chopper along with the pusher that comes along with it. I mean, that's quite a bit that you're getting. And this petite size I think is so perfect. Perfect. It's got a little stainless steel kind of look wrapped around it, so it'll look beautiful with all the stainless steel appliances that you already have at home. But this is that little food processor processor that's going to be the workhorse in your kitchen. I'm a firm believer in it. I'm, I love to cook, but I love to cook with fresh ingredients. And when you talk about elevating the flavor of your foods, you've got to have a food processor so you can put that fresh garlic, the onions in there, the cilantro, all of your, all, you know, anything that you're making fresh or salad dressings. So if you want it, let us know what your favorite color is. We've got the red, we've got that beautiful kind of gray look, and then we also have it in black, but very popular. Popular. We wanted to make certain that we put this in the show. It's a customer pick. You can read the reviews. Powerful, great capacity on this one. And ideal to really have out on your countertop or to tuck away because of that petite size, Chef. Well, Marlo, go and pick up the whipped cream in your fridge. On, read on the back of the can all the ingredients that go in there. We include the emulsifying blade, great for dressings, but watch this. You also go ahead and pour just a little bit of cream in. Now, you don't need to use too much, and what I do now is I put my, my lid on, literally three seconds, and you've got whipped cream, okay? And I'm not joking when I say three seconds. You see how fast that was, Marlo? It whipped the cream, and let me just lift it up for you. Look at that. So if you're having a little slice of pie or a little brownie, you can now go ahead and just whip enough cream for just two of you, three of you, four of you, and you know, you don't have to feel bad about all the ingredients in that horrible whipped cream canister. I mean, look at that, a little brownie, soft brownie with some, some whipped cream. Let's make a pesto, Marlo, this is so easy. Look, equal parts basil, and I've got a little bit of baby spinach, so you go ahead, you get those greens, you push them down, get some pine nuts, get a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and when I say a little, maybe uh, a, a, a quarter of a cup, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, you can put Put some balsamic vinegar in too if you like or maybe some lemon juice then you go ahead you you, you hit it again Marlo, just for a couple of seconds that's all it takes yeah. now if you want a dry pesto you put in that much oil if you want it a little bit more sauce consistency just add a little bit more of the oil but you can see how in no time at all the chimichurri that you'd be serving with your gorgeous steaks the pestos all of that stuff can be made in seconds here's something Marlo. i wake up in the morning i say to my kids you've got to eat fruit before your cereal they're like, Dad, I don't want to eat fruit. Uh, so what I do is I get some raspberries, I toss it in, a little bit of yogurt, so they get the protein from the yogurt, they get the, the wonderful um, nutrients from the berries. Then I throw in a little bit of um, uh, uh, oat milk, I blend that up, and in no time, Marlo, guess what they're doing? They're eating their fruit before their cereal. <laughs> because I make them a quick little smoothie like that. And when you've got the right tools, you can literally do it in no time. I've got one last thing, Marlo, I'm gonna show you, uh, because I've got this beautiful iceberg lettuce. I've got some garlic, some spring onions. I'm gonna make you a blue cheese dressing, a little bit of um, buttermilk, blue cheese, of course, some sour cream, a little bit of mayonnaise. You dump it all in. And even with that whole clove of garlic, you can see no need to chop it ahead of time. You turn it on, you start smiling because you know the cleanup doesn't exist. You throw it all in the dishwasher once it's done, and then you've got that perfect little blue cheese dressing that goes straight Yum. over that gorgeous iceberg. Isn't that so great? Don't miss out on the low price today. The price will be going up to $62.95. But while supplies last, you can take advantage of it at the right. low price of under $50. Moving and our on. big birthday bash weekend, five flexible payments on all things HSN TV, $10 plus tax to be able to get this at home. And of course, that shipping and handling. So again, black, red, and gray are your choices.